Oh, I found some dark chocolate on my floor. I think that's a sign that I need to eat it. Yay for nutrition. Because balance is good for you and having a healthy attitude toward food is also good for you. I have sour cream dripping down to my elbow, so I'm gonna go for a sec. <laughs> I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, I show you everything I eat, everything I drink, and how I move my body to stay fit while traveling full-time in a van. Good morning, guys. Today we're doing a what I eat in the day during van life to stay healthy on the road. Lots of no-cook meals, super simple, super easy, and I've been staying real fit following a similar diet on a daily. Let's start with our morning coffee. Okay, before we get into our morning coffee, just check out this view for just a quick second. Okay, now let's go make our morning coffee. So today's actual morning coffee was when I woke up at Mexican Hat and I got to do my Java walk in this beautiful place. Just making breakfast. This is the view. This is the situation. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna lock up shop and then go out here, do some journal writing, just kind of ease into my morning. Man, it's so beautiful here. I could stay here all day and I might just do that. I've been doing intermittent fasting for a little over a year. I finish up eating around seven o'clock every day and then usually don't eat my first meal until around noon. Some days are different. Some days I do eat right away if someone cooks breakfast or if I'm feeling hungry, but most days which is intermittent fasting and I'm never hungry first thing in the morning. So it actually works pretty perfect for me. I just drink coffee and water until about noon and I eat the same amount of food I would on a typical day if I weren't intermittent fasting. I just eat it in a shorter window. I feel like that's one thing that's helped so much with getting and maintaining maintaining my physique, but my rule of thumb is always if I'm hungry, I eat. I just think my body is used to intermittent fasting, so I actually don't get hungry in the mornings. Is this what heaven is like? I'm pretty sure this is what heaven is like. I have a lot to be grateful for. I'm gonna do some journal writing and lyric writing and just enjoy the view. I'm loving the clouds today. They're really pretty. Part of staying fit every day is not just eating healthy, but working out on a daily basis. And I'm finding beautiful places like this to film videos for my new bloom eight week fitness challenge. I think I'm gonna go set up camp right over here. It's so pretty, this would be a perfect backdrop. But what color do we wear? I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like we do like a little maybe bubblegum pink type of thing today. Maybe I'll grab a second option. Ooh, teal green might look pretty. Yeah, we'll try. Try those on, see how we do. I mean, the wind is blowing a little bit. Gonna just dig those down into the dirt. This view is pretty, pretty babylicious, so not gonna lie. I usually do a timer workout, but I forgot my phone with the timer on it, and I already have my lot shoes on. So we're gonna do a 50 reps challenge. So every exercise we do for 50 reps, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna just kind of burn out the muscles today. If you wanna follow along, subscribe to my other channel, Fit Babe Daily. Got tons of free workouts there. And if you want the full fitness program, sign up link is below. Let's do it. We're recording. I've yes. got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason. Why I should ever let you go mm. Don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up no, I don't wanna wake up I don't wanna wake up Without you Baby, without It's very hot out here. Let's go sit in the icy. I'm so thirsty. I'm hoping I have one more water bottle under here somewhere. Let's check. Please, baby Bobby Boucher, Jesus. Oh, oh my God. 
No way. You had this extra pair of gloves this whole time. <sighs> Let's hit the road. <laughs> Something that I always love eating when I'm driving are spits. I don't know, it's always been a thing. So just snacking on those and got my little old coffee cup, just spit them right in there. They no thing. Try to drink a bunch of water because I had two coffees today. Yeah, I drink a lot of coffee, I don't know. I like to have a beverage when I travel. I should probably switch over to tea, but today just feeling the coffee, so we're doing it. But I'm gonna finish this by the end of the day, especially because I'm eating sunflower seeds too and they're super salty. Stand here a while. Take a little time. I'm so happy I got to do Monument Valley. Everyone was telling me that the road was closed and you wouldn't even be able to drive through. The whole Navajo Nation is closed right now, so that was definitely a pleasant surprise. I got a lot of cute pictures and so many fail photos. But on Instagram now, I'm doing a pretty photo and then a fail photo, so there's always gonna be a swipe. I mean, I love having a pretty Instagram, don't get me wrong, but I just, I find humor in the realness. What do I believe? It is six o'clock when I've only had breakfast and then snack on some sunflower seeds. So I'm getting pretty hungry. I think I'm just gonna pull over and do a lap salad. I've done lots of lap snacks. It's just a part of it. But I'm gonna make the same salad I made yesterday and I did it much more beautifully then than I will now. So I'm gonna show you that footage. isn't quite as pretty as the other one. It's got the same ingredients. The only difference is instead of chicken slices, I have some deli turkey, but it's got broccoli, tomatoes, this garlic dip, cottage cheese, and then I put a little mustard on top. It's actually really good. Oh, also, also some cucumbers and green onions. Ooh, I have some sunflower seeds. I'll put those on top. Oh yeah. I don't know about almonds, but the sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. I feel like that'd be good on there, right? Yay for nutrition. Heck yes, it's a Taco Bell kind of night. Yes, Taco Bell is part of a healthy diet for me, as are other meals that are just regular meals, not salads. I'd say I eat about 80 to 90% the same thing every day, like a salad and some sort of yogurt and granola combo. And then I just kind of snack the rest of the day or I'll go out to dinner or I'll have whatever everyone's making for dinner. That's been working really well for me and it's been a good flow. When people usually post like a healthy what I eat in a day, it's usually perfect or it's like, oh, I'm so bad, I ate some dark chocolate. No. I'm a freaking nom on some Taco Bell right now. Cause balance is good for you and having a healthy attitude toward food is also good for you. I have sour cream dripping down to my elbow. So I'm gonna go for a sec. I wanted Chipotle, but it was 17 minutes out of my way. So we're doing Taco Bell tonight. Two bean burritos, add sour cream. What about it? So kind of my rule of thumb is to drink a gallon of water a day. So most of it I just drink, some of it I put in my coffee and I make a couple teas usually. This morning I made two coffees, but. I'm gonna crack this for a little bit. When I crack this open, I just put this little macrame thing here. Not that anyone's going to try to pull this open, but if they do, I mean, they're not, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get in here. Making a hot tea with some local honey. Actually, I have not yet gotten Arizona honey or no, I guess I have, because quartzite is in Arizona. Just kidding. Nevada is what I was thinking. Oh, I found some dark chocolate on my floor. I think that's a sign that I need to eat it. This stuff's really good. Minty chocolate. Okay, with my tea. Oh, yeah. And I just add in half and half. Love me some warm beverages. So I'm just gonna be laying here till sundown, just trying to upload a little vlog for y'all. Yay, it's uploading. Found a Starbucks. And now I just need to figure out where I'm sleeping tonight. I wish you could just park in the Starbucks parking lot. Guys, so I think we're staying in a Cracker Barrel parking lot again tonight. Kinda like Cracker Barrel. 
don't know. If they had internet, they'd be like the perfect husband. I'm gonna wait for this to upload and then head over there and go to sleep. Good night, see you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As you can see, eating on the road is actually way easy. Lots of no-cook meals, and I have my go-to healthy places to eat, usually teriyaki places or chipotle, and occasionally just whatever is available. If you made it to the end of the video, write Taco Bell down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it to friends. See you tomorrow.